Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Jason DeZurek. You can find out more information at worldviewwarriors.org and you can go to world or uh, do not keep silent.com. That's do not keep silent. Dot com. If you're not already watching this on do not keep silent dot com, just want to share with you a little bit of what we're going to be talking about. There's a couple things. I've, I've got three. Uh, one is about is the Bible reliable, and how is the Bible put together? We're going to be talking about this because there are actually people out there that uh, call themselves followers of Jesus, call themselves Christians, but then say you don't need to believe the Bible. You don't need to actually read it and then live it. You don't need to actually read the Bible and then, you know, or read it. You don't need to read it literally and then, you know, it doesn't matter anyway. Well, we're going to talk about that. We're going to also talk about how it was put together because there's a lot of you out there that don't understand that, number one, of how it was put together, what made the cut, why it made it, things like that, uh, what they measured things on, and how they figured that out. And a lot of us out there seem to think that the Bible is just a book. You know, no different than a novel or something like that. Well, we're going to talk about is it the Word of God or is it just a bunch of men who put it together? One of my sayings is it's not just a bunch of drunk monks. We're put together and they got, got together and put the Bible together. No. Okay, we're going to talk about that on the show on Sunday night, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, you can find out at do not keep silent.com and you can also go to 90.1 to uh, in Northwest Ohio if you want to hear the show directly on the radio. Uh, you can also find old shows at do not keep silent.com in the archives page. A big one though is the hot saucy mom right now. The mom who hot sauced her child and then gave him a cold shower for lying and they said they did all these things, you know, spanking and timeouts. And My biggest deal with that whole situation is this. The way she was giving the discipline, she was out of control. That's what this really comes down to. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if hot saucing is child abuse. Um, I, the way she did it was just way out of, out of hand. It was crazy. And, uh, and a cold shower, uh, again, it's, it's not for me to decide. It's just the way she was giving it, she was out of control. She was exasperating her child. Okay? The Bible talks about that. Ephesians 6 6, or Ephesians 6 4, it says, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. So it comes down to the father. You see, the mom, I'm not saying she shouldn't give discipline. But what I am saying is, I'm wondering if the father, if the husband, was doing his job, if that would have even happened. Meaning they had to get to that point, if they would have gotten to it at all. I mean, Ephesians 5, 21 says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. You see, a lot of people always go, wives, submit to your husbands. And yes, you should. But husbands, we need to love our wives just as Christ loved the church. It's very clear. You can see this in Ephesians 5, 21 through 6, 4. Ephesians 5, 21 through 6, 4. Okay. Ephesians 6 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on the earth. Again, fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. What they were doing as far as a discipline, a consequence, was the right thing. It was the way they were doing it. It was not out of love. You see, giving a discipline, giving a consequence for an action isn't wrong. Consequences happen. You decide to put your hand on a hot stove, you're going to get burnt. If a child knows if they disobey or lie, that they're going to get a time out for five minutes and sit in the corner with their nose in the corner and they know that's the consequence for lying in your home. What's wrong with that? Nothing. They Because they already know if they do X, Y is going to happen. They know that. We're going to talk more on this on do not keep silent. 
on Sunday night, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And I, I, again, I'm not sitting here saying hot saucing is right. I want to be very clear on that. I'm not saying that. I wouldn't even have thought of doing that. I mean, that that's just weird. Or giving a kid a cold shower? I mean, to me, that's just, I don't get it. That's not something I, as a parent, would do. It's, I'm going to keep control in my house out of love and teach my children how to respect others. When we give a consequence in our house, when we give discipline, we give the discipline, give the consequence, and then I and my wife will sit there for 3, 5, 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it takes for our child to know we love them, we'll hold them, we'll talk to them. Obviously, that was not going on in the house. The other thing I just want to say, this was recorded for television. <laughs> okay? I think that they were thinking, hey, we're going to be on TV. We're going to be well-known. It was stupid. you got to be careful with what you're doing out there. Listen to Do Not Keep Silent at do not keep silent com every Sunday night, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Appreciate it if you tune in. And just thank you for tuning in. And uh, leave some comments below. Really appreciate it. Uh, again, want to be clear so no, nobody's hating on me. I'm not saying hot saucing is right. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I, again, I never even thought about it. Okay? As far as giving a kid a cold shower, I'm not for that either. I don't get that. I, I just do not understand that. But we got to remember that parents have been given the children they have for a reason. And so there's a fine line here. What it is, uh, where, where do you cross the line, I, I don't know. Maybe you do. And uh, just appreciate your comments. Again, please no hating on me. I'm just trying to uh, get through this just like you. Have a good one. Take care and see you later.